check these out guys new number plates Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Right, I've managed to find a space in my local uh, supermarket and we're gonna continue with trying to get this car sorted. Um, I need to get the number plates on. New number plates have arrived and it's just constant rain. Um, so I've managed to get undercover, luckily, uh, in one of the spaces that's available uh, in the dry. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and dry down the outside of the car or, or just underneath the number plate on the rear we're going to get the rear stuck down and and fitted and then we're going to move to the front we've got the zun sport on the front now uh there's a few of you uh or certainly one of you that came up with a clever idea um with using command hooks um which fit conveniently nicely into the zun sport um mesh because it's very small um so what we're going to do is we're going to try this theory out um put it to the test I'm thinking we are going to put them in first and then put the number plate in and then pull it out and then kind of make sure they're all stuck down. I think that's the kind of what I'm gathering um, rather than sticking to the back and then obviously trying to fit it in, which then they might not line up with the holes, if that makes sense. So I think the best way forward is to put them in first, then stick the number plate on. We're going to take a look at it now anyway. So. First job, let's get the number plate done, or the number plates done. Let's go. Right guys, um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark basically the top of the number plate where it currently is, because it's got this border on the bottom. Um, we're gonna have to shuffle it down slightly to be central with the number plate. So I can't put it in the exact same position, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to mark it at the moment, um, the top, and then uh, I'll do it the same on the other side, just so it gives us, there is a line that you can slightly see just under here, but as I say, I think we're going to have to move it down slightly. Um, so let's just do that, let's get the number plate off. Right, so I wasn't expecting that. Now, we've got two raised bits either side, no wonder the number plate was slightly bent. Um, now obviously what's possibly happened is whoever tried to fit a, n a new number plate there wasn't the insert here so they decided just to drill straight into the car um, good work um, there's a little bit of rust here which will have to be looked at at some point um, but that's kind of what you're presented with um, so now that causes its own issues how to install this to obviously be in flush in line what I might have to do is double up on the tape to try and bring it out slightly to try and level it because one piece of tape I don't think is going to be thick enough so we might have to double up that's my only way forward I think so we're going to give this a good clean now and then work out we're going to tape up the number plate and as I say I might actually have to double it up to see if we can avoid missing these to make it flush. What a pain in the ass. Okay, let's go. God's sake, this bloody stuff. Come off. Right, before I go any further, this is the new number plate. Uh, if A big shout out to Number Plate Clinic. They managed to get these done in a couple of days. And they look pretty sweet, to be honest. It's got a bit of a red. They're gel badges or gel um, with a sort of a red surround. 
look really sweet. So let's get these on the car. Let's get this now turned over. We're going to get, um, I've just cleaned all the back. And we're going to get double sided tape now on here. Right guys, the moment of truth. So what I've actually done is I used double the black tape here, this. I doubled up that, but that was no way going to be uh, thick enough. Luckily, I had some pads. It would come with pads, actually. So I've doubled up the pads. So it's super thick now. Um, as you can see there. Now, that should uh, and does clear the two uh, knobbly bits. Um, so we're gonna, just going to try and get this on now and um, pray. Right guys, I think that's pretty much on. It looks pretty straight. So I'm pretty happy with that and using that amount of tape has uh, yeah, managed to elude those bumps basically, which seems to be okay. So that's good, happy with that. It's got a nice, shimmer to it as well on the red um, it seems pretty good let me come remove this this was just to help um, so what I did is I've just sort of married it up then used a bit of masking tape just to hold it so when I folded it down I was able to take the tape off and then fold it back up in roughly a similar place but I think it's definitely get the uh, I'd probably do a tape line or something just to get it in line. Um, but a bit of iron it up, I guess. But um looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Right, see if we can move to the front. Right everybody, let's move to the front grill. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Command hooks. And these are so quick look. So it's a perfect fit. So that hook fits perfectly. Let me show you that again. That hook perfectly fits into there. Now whoever thought of that, absolutely amazing. So great stuff. So we're gonna basically put these along here, and I think we're gonna stick onto here first and then stick the number plate on and then remove rather than sticking them to the number plate and then finding they you know it's slightly off and it's not going to fit in the hole or something I think that's the idea but let me just marry it up and have a look okay so I've double sided tape to the back of all of the hooks and then I kind of concluded that it doesn't matter where I actually put it at this stage, as long as the holes line up and the number plate lines up in terms of it's going to fit. So that should work. Then if I do another couple, another couple, I'll make sure I spread it out onto the number plate correctly, then stick it and then I can just pull it out and then position it wherever I like. Is that right? <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to go with it. I think that's kind of, that's going to work. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. I was going to mount it up here and then I thought, oh, why don't I just mount it here and then I can just pull it out and mount it wherever I like because the hole should line up then. That's what we're going for. Okay, so I've spread them out in theory with the length of the number plate so i'm worried now if i really need the bottom ones will that then not pull out 
I don't know, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to peel this off now and try and line this up and straighten it at the same time. Oh god. Okay, so I've got the number plate on. Maybe my theory of double on the bottom isn't really working. Um, I caught one on the bottom edge. Right. And it's really awkward to get out, although they do come out with a bit of, with a bit of force. So it has come out but this one at the bottom is not in line you just see it ah. right right everybody so I've removed the bottom ones that didn't work okay doubling them up thought would be better more secure but didn't work you can't get them up you can't pull the grill up properly so I've just removed that I've just got them along the top at the moment um, this one's just a little bit out um, so I've just it probably needs to go that way one more but that's not too bad you know um, and just give it a pull not too hard mind you but let me just pull it up oh there we go it up and then pull the other one up and it comes out so no number plate and then oh, just clip it in and then clip the other side in I mean it's pretty easy to be fair I don't think I'm gonna do it with one hand but yeah three along here you might get away with actually not doing the top one uh, sorry, the middle one, and just having the two on the sides. Um, so let's just get it on now. Well, so there you go, there's the installation done on the front and the rear grill. I'm really happy with that. The only gripe or concern I might have, not gripe, concern, is it's a little bit flappy. Although, I mean, I can't see that coming out. I think it is better with one in the middle. I've just, you know, if you actually if you do the middle first and then one side and the other side, it actually works quite well. Um, that would be my only concern. It's a bit flappy. I guess I don't think the wind can take that and lift it out. But maybe it's worth reinvestigating the one on the bottom. Um, that would be my only concern, especially at on the motorway oh, and knocking around like that but it seemed pretty secure it's not really going anywhere but um, yeah I managed to line it up pretty well I think it could I might be slightly out on this side very slightly yeah it does look a little bit out but the lights not great here but it's not bad to be fair um, so I'm pretty pleased with the concept of using the command hooks um, I would try it yourself if you've got a Dunsport grill definitely give that a go um, makes life a lot easier plus you can pull it in and out so for instance Ford Fair whip it off put it in the boot and then put it back on when you leave really simple rather than having the cable tie 
or try and find another solution to stick it on and then it's non-removable but um, with this idea using the command hooks um, gives you the opportunity to literally walk up to it give it a little pull and on the other side and then remove the grill uh, sorry remove the number plate nice and easy perfect so really happy with that currently three along the top I might put one back on the bottom and try and make that work I think that's probably a better more sensible idea um, just so it doesn't flap around but that concludes the installation of the front and the rear number plates and um, not too far off she's not looking too bad for a Ford Fair <sighs> would have liked to have done the uh, sunstrip but I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time we've got a few other bits to do let's see if we can make it work but thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed uh, jump on the bell give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one